Well, good afternoon. Let's talk about corn. We're about ready to close that market here, uh, a little lower as we speak, going to tape. Um, but I, I, talking to the traders and speculators around the floor and upstairs with all the information that we've got coming through, sometimes when things get quiet, we turn to the technicals because we kind of want to see what the technicians are looking at. And boy, oh boy, there's a story building there. If you're a Bollinger Band follower, the bands have been the, in their narrowest level, the 14-month Bollinger Bands at the narrowest level for 50 years, okay? Well, what does that tell you? Well, it tells you we're getting ready to make a move. And we've kind of traded down to these levels here in corn where most of the speculators and the guys we speak to are thinking that that move could really be an up move. So a little bit of support there. That story's given the market a little support, even though we're off a little bit today. But keep an eye on that because that definitely is doing the rounds. Now, supply and demand-wise, it's still building a halfway decent reason for corn to kind of hang in there, even though we're off a couple today. So the big picture is, is that we've got these tight or narrow Bollinger Bands. So supply and demand, if it wasn't for that little wonky number that the Chinese threw at us at the last crop report, those numbers are, you know, we're, we're fairly bullish right now. So that keep that in mind. So these things are kind of all lining up. Uh, we, we may need to see a little bit more trade to have it kind of uh, gyrate through to give us a better feeling. But right now, those two things are what a lot of the guys behind me are, are talking about. And, and lastly, if you're not really thinking the corn's going to rally, if you feel as though it's going to break, keep an eye on that 360 level. Because some guys that don't take a look at the Bollinger Bands but are still technicians will see 360 as a big support level. And if we break that, they're going to think around looking at 340. So there's a little something there for everybody. So we're going to have to really keep an eye on that because what that tells me is that it's still kind of setting up to make a move either way. So that's it for me. I'm Scott Shelley here on the Seymour Group floors in Chicago. Have a great weekend.